Squaders. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Brown with the RC Supremacy, and you already know we're out here scaling and sending. So today, guys, it's part two of the Supra build. Uh, thank you for joining me today. It's been a little bit longer uh, than expected to get this video out. Just been taking my time, very extensive on a lot of this stuff. But uh, yeah, we're going to be running through the entire paint process uh, from liquid masking, cleaning, preparation. We're going to be painting on the outside, doing some trim work, and of course, using the body lines that I do offer. So a great opportunity to show you guys all that. Um, I really appreciate you sliding by. Notification bell squad is heavy. We got 50% of you guys that um, not only are subscribed, but have the notification bell on. Analytics shows it, proofs is in the pudding, and we really appreciate it, guys. Part one of this series already has over a thousand plus views, a lot of feedback on it. And uh, yeah, we really, really, really do thank you guys. If there's anything that I've left out or that you're curious about in this video, make sure you guys leave some feedback below. I'm probably going to start featuring some comments, um, some highlights, some comments throughout, um, you know, future videos just to show those that are showing support and uh, obviously showing love, trying to show the love back. So uh, yeah, make sure to leave some uh, love below. We'll get you a uh, highlight in the, in the video. So today's video, we're going to be touching on the liquid mask. We're going to be going through that entire process. We're going to be uh, finishing up with some decals that I'm creating from Illustrator and then putting over to the uh, plotter. And uh, yeah, uh, a little bit of a little bit of everything on this final video and the last installment on the Supra. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And thank you again, guys, for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because we got some fire content on the way. About to heat up. Scale quarantine 2020. We're going to be pumping out some fire content. Let's go. We are here. I have the Supra behind me and a couple more commission bodies. But uh, yeah, I'm running through the entire process. We're going to clean. We're going to go ahead and uh, prep it and get it ready for liquid mask. And then uh, go ahead to the bench, do some design work, lay out our paint scheme and colors, and go hammer, boys. Let's go. Time to liquid mask and uh, today we're going to be using a liquid mask by Biddy Designs. This stuff is particularly some of the thickest on the market so I'm going to be thinning it out with just a little bit of water until I get my consistency. Um, again, water-based uh, liquid mask, no issues there. It wipes up very easily if, uh, if you have any issues with it. But uh, yeah, we have just a few pieces we're going to be masking on the Supra. Got a couple bumpers. I have the, um, the over fenders up here on some styrofoam. As you can see, I uh, had that in place with some uh, Instatac. And yeah, it's gonna be a simple process today, guys. I'm shooting for um, even coats, six of them, with how cold it is. Unfortunately, I will be having to use the hair dryer to expedite this. Um, ideally, I'd like to get um, just air, air time and just dry time in general, but um, I've used this in the past, no issues. Today, HVLP, we're gonna be putting that to work. I'm gonna be spraying that at 40 PSI. It's coming from the compressor at 80, which is my max, and then I'm regulating it at the gun at 40. So I always have that pressure on demand in case I need to adjust it. But uh, yeah, a lot of people use the uh, liquid mask with a brush. I just particularly like using it through a spray gun. I feel like it um, atomizes a little bit better. Gives me a little bit easier peel when it does come time for that. But yeah, if you guys are suspect about this, it's just about practice. This stuff is actually really amazing when you're trying to do very intricate and detailed work. It beats the cost of tape and it beats the hassle of trying to get your lines accurate like you know, a million times. But um, um, yeah, check the process. Any questions, leave them below. Let's go.
Whew. Last and final coat, I'm gonna lay this one on just a little bit thicker than the rest of them. Six coats entirely and uh, finished up.